Let's welcome in our, uh, from the Newsmax newsroom at our television center in Florida, we have Javier Manjarres, managing editor of the Shark Tank. And from Newsmax New York, Rick Unger, co-host co of uh, that great radio program, <laughs> cohort. Steel, cohort. Steel and Unger huh, on Sirius XM Radio, co-host, cohort, both guys, we appreciate you. <laughs> and Rick, first to you, as in Forbes, you offer some criticism for the president on his choice to go golf. did. Talk to us about it. I, well, I did, but you know, I gotta point something out, JD. The, the, the discussion's gotten so silly. Here I just heard you say, as if it were a fact that the president goes golfing at, at, at the cost of doing other things he's supposed to be doing. You don't believe that's true. I've never accused any president of my lifetime, many of who've been golfers or whatever, of ever ignoring their duties to get in some R&R. &R. The, the mistake I thought the president made yesterday, and I did criticize him for it, and I've been getting him for it, and I've been getting the you-know-what kicked out of me by my liberal friends, uh, was I thought it was just ill-timed. It didn't feel right to me. Look, yesterday was, whether it was uh, official or not, it was a day of mourning for all of us. A terrible, terrible thing had happened to a fellow American president, particularly because he wasn't even 150 miles away from the Foley family who had absolutely inspired and captured us with their own statements shortly before the president. Maybe the better way to spend his time would have been to jump on the helicopter and go spend some time with them on all of our behalf. Because we all would have liked to have been there to give them a hug and, and tell them that we're thinking about them. It did not feel right yesterday. I know other people like Ezra Klein have also, you know, liberals have, have lodged some criticism. It just felt like he wasn't feeling our collective pain. Well, you mentioned Ezra Klein, and Mr. Klein took to Twitter saying it was in bad, bad taste. Uh, the New York Daily News uh, had a front page photo of the president in a golf cart juxtaposed, juxtaposed with a picture of Foley's grieving parents. The headline of the Daily News, Prez tees off as Foley's parents grieve. So obviously there is a problem with timing and um, uh, I, I don't know if in gap, but let's go to, to uh, Javier Manjarres for his take on all of this. Well, I, uh, J.D., this is, again, par for the course for President Obama. Oh. <laughs> you like that one. Well, look, <laughs> President Obama, all he has done since he's been in office has been project weakness around the world. We haven't had true leadership in the White House since President George W. Bush, and that's a fact. Uh, President Obama, with his foreign policy, or failed foreign policy, has endangered the lives of many Americans and will continue to do so. What? Think about it. What true, respectable uh, commander-in-chief would negotiate first with terrorists and secondly divulge top secret special operations missions and tactics. I mean, who does that? Not a not a true respectable president. You take exception. I'm glad to that, that Javier imagine, could Rick. take advantage. I'm, I'm glad Javier could take advantage of a segment about the president's golf activities yesterday to make yet another canned speech of the failures of the Obama it administration. It is, you know what? This is why you guys don't have credibility. We're sitting here talking, and by the way, I, I agree I know with you have Javier. to. I, I, I know you have to run article. cover. For Wait a minute, I'm talking right. I'm, I'm, I'm right. I'm, 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 I'm talking right now. Uh, I agreed with you. I didn't like what he did yesterday, but you know, to to say the same old Obama sucks at everything thing. Well, no, 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 wait a minute, anymore, Rick. Man. Wait, wait a minute. I didn't say uh, so. Javier gave you some Javier some made a definite. Speech about well, his no, no, wait a minute. He cited he cited policy. some concerns that are legitimate concerns, Rick, and so address them. Not the in, notion not of in this giving out the information. Are they? Oh, okay. Well, well, about yeah, I didn't even hear him talk about him playing golf. I thought that's what we were talking about. Yes or no. Well, okay, I'll tell you what, then. We'll go ahead, then. We'll follow Rick's rules, even though I'm supposed to moderate this. Oh, How about boy. something new this morning, <laughs> Javier? Uh, a new That's president a on the set. Rick's rules, so we'll stick with golf. And, boy, the criticism did come in. We got it from the left and the right. Dick Cheney got into it yesterday, and I know that, uh, that Rick savors the moments when he agrees with the former vice president. Uh, Mr. Cheney <laughs> said this, every day we find new evidence that he'd rather be on the golf course than he would be dealing with a crisis that's developing rapidly in the Middle East. Now, Javier, I, now Javier, I guess Rick would uh, would impugn that as a canned speech, but uh, there it is. We're talking foreign policy. I don't see Rick's point here. By the way, Rick, I like the ties. It's not, it's not Christmas, though. Anyways, but Thank again, you. this Thank is this, again, Thank this you. is this all boils <laughs> back. He's golfing. Look. I, I, 
I guess you could, the criticism can be placed on both Bush and Obama about this. But look, he has time. If he wants to go golfing, so be it. I like to know what what I like to know what JD's handicap is. On, on this issue, but again, my handicap is awful. My handicap's my swing. Yeah, I think your handicap's here, your. Yeah, you think your handicap is your your liberal leanings. I have I have a son-in-law who's scratched, but I am terrible. Well, here is the. Uh, this is really the, uh, the, uh, the uh, news-making comment this morning, at least involving this panel. I don't play golf. So, <laughs> hey, J.D., can I point one thing out about the vice president, if you don't mind? Sure. I know we're playing rituals, He's going to like. expand this beyond don't golf now. Find it, so we go, go ahead. It, don't you? It, no, it's, it's going to be directly to his conversation. Don't you find it even a little bit weird that in all the time he was uh, the vice president of the United States, I never heard him criticize his president for playing golf or spending time on golf or spending time on vacation, nor should he have. I never cr uh, criticized his president for playing vacation down in Crawford. So why suddenly does he come to believe that the president he was work the president he was working for was totally capable of doing his job and working in golf, but yet he makes the statement that this president is far more interested in golf than dealing with our problems. It's really <laughs> obvious that I don't understand how anybody thinks this helps your argument. I, I've got my ideas, but Javier is here to offer his, so I'll turn to him right Look, now. Look, I, 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 it was great to see Vice President uh, Vader come down from the Death Star and speak his mind <laughs> on the truth about what, what happened, what was going on with President Obama's failed foreign policy. Again, we're talking about a gulf in foreign policy. Rick is trying to spin for the left, as he does. Listen, I know, Rick, no, this is your spin. job you to spin for that. Obama. You know, no, that's fine. Really Let's just be honest with yourself anything. and everyone else that look, he, it, there was a, a big boondoggle on his part yesterday, which you agree. And again, he failed and he's a failed president when it comes to foreign policy and economic issues. Here, here's, the, here's the thing. If, 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 if he but thinks that I spin for the president, he should take the time to read my article All right, yesterday. Fair, fair, read my article All right, yesterday. Fair, fair enough. I he, assure you, the president does not feel that I'm spinning for him. Here, <laughs> here's, here's the fun exception. And I think while, while you see the attacks, uh, it is this observation. And this is not partisan poison, but a minute left, I just want to make this point with you. The president, the commander in chief, in a lot of these issues seems to be more of an observer in chief. Now that that's the perception out there. Yeah, I, I won't disagree with you that there are many who do perceive it that way. I don't think it's true. I think it's more his style, but I can't criticize you if you if you view it that way. I kind of get it. I've never been a big fan of the president's detached style. I don't think it means he's not doing his job, but I do understand what you're saying. The president's a couch potato. Well, I don't know. He's too lean to be a couch potato. <laughs> I need to be a couch potato and play too he, much golf. He's loving that golf. Uh, <laughs> gentlemen, we appreciate your, your points of view very much. Look forward to getting you back with us. So you hear from Javier and Rick there. What's your take on the president and golf and other things? Why don't you tweet me your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum, and we're coming back with more right here.